electric cheese and thick crust. I uh, haven't had uh, any pizza uh, in so long. Uh. I've got a pie for you and Mr. Foot. Big Foot, uh, come on and have some. Uh. <laughs> uh, what a good uh, slice. Uh. Now, Michael. What the? I got you, dog. What the, the fuck? Uh, you have uh, put uh, me in a net. Uh. 50 likes on the video to find out in next week's episode what Bigfoot has done with Dom, Michael, and McDouche. What's happening, everybody? I am Michael Mertz, and welcome back to NASCAR 15 season. I'm gonna try to remind myself to not stand up today because I got a big old hole in my pants right next to my balls. Last week out at the Daytones, we barely won that one, but there was a lot going on up until that win, so let's break it down a sec. Tremendous start of the race, but that was derailed when I got spun around into the inside wall. After that, we had another restart where I was passing a lot of people. But then all of a sudden, the game told me that I passed someone beneath the yellow line. No, no, I'm telling you right now that is not the case. But that's like arguing your case with an MLB umpire. You're just gonna lose. And they may even throw a baseball at your head. So I had to give up spot after spot till I was Squaresville. And by that point, I had lost the draft. The only person I was able to find to work with was Denny Hamster, but guess what? He's a selfish prick. He made me do all the pushing and that overheated my engine. So in retaliation, I dumped his shit and that got us caught up back to the pack. With little time remaining, I worked my way up through that field and we found ourselves out front with only a few laps to go. But then things got tense. Coming to the white flag, we were three wide. Jeff Gordon Ramsey stabbed his teammate in the back, helping me buy him clear to the lead. Headed off into turn three. I had Jeff Gordon Ramsey up behind me. Something's floating. I went down to block, but then I like accidentally hit the steering wheel. I booped the stick a little too much going the wrong way. I went up the track trying to get a little bit of a wiggle out of him. And guess what? It worked. We got him to wiggle. We got him to go up the track and that killed his good, good momentum. As I got the run up underneath him. We were running down to the line and by a matter of a few feet, we were able to pull off the victory over Jeff Gordon Ramsay. That win allows us to extend our points lead over Jemai up to 85 whole points. That's almost two full races. Jemai in second still, Bushy Bushy in third. Then he got Tony the Tiger in fifth and Gandy Kane in fourth. Take a peeps where your favorite driver is sitting. Not a week goes by where I am any closer to figuring out who is in and who is out. But we'll take a quick scroll through and see where everybody is sitting. Sitting. Cyber Fever still has some work to do to get back up into that top 30 for that win to count for the chase, which is only nine weeks away. I have not forgotten what Mikey Walnuts did to us out there at the Sonomis. Could today be the day where I exact my revenge? My paint scheme for the day! Because this weekend is actually sort of 4th of July weekend. All right, don't get your pampers in a bunch. Don't get all in a twist over this. We don't have the Chicago street course to race on. We've got Kentucky. Calm down, calm down. I personally believe that if we had the next-gen cars out there on Kentucky, they would put on a tremendous show. But we're probably never going to experience that because Kentucky has been abandoned. I've seen it for myself. There are trees growing in the grandstands. It's a sad state of affairs in Kentucky, at least at the Speedway. Let's try to give them one more good, good race before we bid them adieu. Let's get this video started. Let's go! <laughs> Welcome to NASCAR's newest Sprint Cup track. For today's running of the Quaker State 400, I'm Mike Joy with hometown hero Daryl Walter. Oh yeah, my old Kentucky home. Mike, the track's got a few uh, bumps in it here and there. The drivers don't complain about them a lot. It says it gives the track character. I like the track with character. And we've got a cast of characters in this field today. Yes, we do. And of course, we've only been here a couple of times, so hard to predict the win. You're right, Daryl. Most teams' notebooks are pretty thin on this place. But Kentucky shares a lot of characteristics with some of the tracks we've been racing at for a long, long time. The question is, who has the right combination of horsepower, handling, track position, and pit stops to win today? Boogity, boogity, boogity. Let's go horsepower racing, boys and girls. Thank you, Daryl. Do you guys remember when this track was like, it was hot shit? When we got this on the cup schedule for the first time, like it was a big deal to get a new track on the cup schedule, and now we're just 
We're going to the streets in Chicago to race on. Like, just making up tracks as we go along. We're slapping dirt on stuff and whatnot. No! New tracks are a dime a dozen. We're on our way to Kentucky! I miss Kentucky, man. I know Jamai could never win here. And that's really, that determines if I enjoy the track a lot or not as I'm growing up. He's leading right now. He was... He was pretty decent here. Just could never get a win. I still remember 2013, Kansas. So I only put one lap down in qualifying because again, I just cannot be bothered. I don't like the whole session qualifying. I don't like how long it takes. And anyway, is this track, it, not track, this game is broken when it comes to that. If you simulate the whole thing, they make you a lot slower than you actually are. Like I can guarantee you, if I would actually sit my ass on pit road and just wait it out, wait the five minutes or whatever for the qualifying session to be over, my qualifying spots would be so much better. Okay, okay, okay. They're committed to the outside line. It's not really working so swell for them. And that's allowed me to get a few of these spots. We haven't been on it in, uh, what is it? This is a mile and a half intermediate in a while. It feels like we've been doing all the goofball tracks, Sonomi is the day toads. I guess Michigan, I guess, but it's not like it's not a mile and a half. We haven't had a mile and a half since like Charlotte. Smart break by God, I knew it. I knew it, I knew it, I knew it, because it, it was too tight. And where the hell is everyone's freaking patriotism? I feel like I was the only one that showed up at the party thinking that it was a costume party. I came dressed as Frankenstein. Everybody else is dressed in dresses and blazers. We're passing people. But I don't know how good we are. Cause okay, Jim is still a ways. I don't know, I don't know the handle. Like, eh. It's a little bit goofbally. Damn! Oh, it has parking on me in the middle of the corner where you should be on the throttle. Now look at what you done did, Jeff Gordon Ramsay, you old Methuselah. Just retired already. Make room for William Clyde. All of this started in turn one because Jeff Gordon Ramsay can't get it up. I lost, what, five spots? You old goat. That was it. I was supposed to be teaching him a lesson. A lesson he wouldn't soon forget. It. I mean, now looking at it, looking back at it, I clearly had... That, that was not a good idea. Do I want to... Oh, no! It's the bro... It's still broken? Was it NASCAR 14 where it was like this, too? I don't... They're wrecked. They're... Rogan! Stenhouse! They just ain't making pit stops now. Do I want to pit or am I going to get trapped somewhere? We've already had enough of that. I mean, I would like to... Fuck, fuck it, fuck it, fuck. I'm not going down that pit road. Just got a bad idea, ran all over it. I've been burned at Dover and at the Talladega's and I don't want to deal with that tonight. I could just see some sort of glitch with the 17 of the seven being like stuck like that and then we're never able to go back green. Wouldn't be surprised. But see now, because I stayed out, everything is all right. And we gained some track position, some much needed track position. The only thing we gotta be like a little bit. Oh, it's a 66. How you doing? Only thing we gotta be a little bit concerned about is how we got a bunch of people that now have a lot more fuel than us and much better tires. 66 trying to get away. He's driven up into fourth for some reason because he knows he knows what he did to me. He knows how he cost me. Where? Whoa, 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 right, Carlos. Outside, top five. The you hell go, was that? Everybody was getting all up on my ass. I guess if anything, at least none of them were okay, complaining fine. about how bad it stank. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light? What's so proudly we hail? Fuck you. Jeff Gordon Ramsay got catapulted! What in the... What happened to the 24? Are we going to be able to see that? Damn! 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 Yeah! Old bitch! Couple of old bitches got what was coming to them in that accident. Are they... There's definitely something going on back in the back of the pack. Yeah, we're gonna make... I'm gonna take this opportunity to make my stop. We're all coming in. Some people are gonna be staying out, though. We got... 
Two different pit strategies of foot. Go and ask Mikey Walnuts if he has seen the right rear corner of my car. All right, so the second half pitted. The top top 20, eh, it's a little bit more than half that stayed out, like 23, 24 all stayed out. And then uh, the second 20, what? I don't even know what I'm talking about. We all pitted. What is happening? What? 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 Great restart. Really, really good. Passing a lot of people. I ran out of room. I could have passed more if I had more room. Should I just put the freaking bumper to Chef Boyardee and shot him right up the track? That was cool. I'm trying to keep up with him and Redneck Jesus. They pitted with me. And they are going somewhere. Ah, I see why everything is getting stacked. It's because Whitney Spears and Jebedouche are up in the top 20. That shouldn't be. And the 98 and the 46 is as well. Seven car. Weren't you parked? What are you doing here? Hey, yeah, you too. You guys were sniffing each other's asses down there against the wall. Lost touch with Jim Bob. He, he got, he way up there now. I was trying to keep up with it. He seems pretty damn fast. What up a good, good lap. We're getting faster. The adjustments that I made on that pit stop helped me a good amount. It's pretty comfortable. I could probably loosen it up a little bit more, but not too much. Didn't want to go too far with it. Was thinking of taking out more wedge on the pit stop, but decided not to. Could definitely do that, and it will help us. We're going to need something to contend with Chubai. Man's restarted in like 25th or whatever, and has all all by himself, driven up to the top five. When do you see AI doing that? Someone on the pits. Could that possibly be the first round of pit stops we had? But that was only about 12 laps ago. I can't see them making pit stops already. Trying to do some sort of arithmetic here. But the problem is, can't remember what, what lap it was where everyone was on pit road the last time. How far can we make it, and how many more pit stops are we looking at? Like, one? Will one be enough? All I know is that Jimmy and I are on the same pit strategy, though he is AI, so he might do something stupid. So he's the guy that I'm racing down and trying to get ahead of. Ah, I went up my nose again! I got a little bit up on my lip. Welcome to Michael Moves' Mid Racer for presented by Gas can water, gas can water, get one! So the car has improved. I am I am a sweaty blob right now. I am a sweaty mess. It's like I'm actually in Kentucky in that humidity racing this car. Anyway, the car is improving. We have gotten it better since that one pit stop. How many more pit stops are we going to have to make? We're going to need to make another one at some point. We're going to work on the car a bit more. We're going to have to because Chubai is still way better than me. And now I'm seeing this cluster of guys behind. Are they getting closer to me? I definitely don't feel as confident in the car as I did a little bit ago. It's getting tight on me. I'm having to slow down a hell of a lot more. Pit stops would be greatly appreciated. Oh, they just a bunch of them peeled off. All right, anyway. So yeah, another one, at least one more round. And then we're going to loosen this car up and then we'll see what we can do with Jimmy. We're coming down to the close of laps, though, almost the 20 to go. This has been Michael Moves, Mid Race Purpose, out of my gas can water. Every one of them is in. Jimmy taking the lead back from Bushy. Jimmy back to the lead. Bushy and Dar make their stops. We're up to second spot. We can't make it much further, though. Our tires, our right sides, they're wearing out. Bad. That's probably why I can't really turn anymore. We pitted at least what? five, six, seven laps after all of these guys. So like that's probably about what we have left of the tank. Or maybe like what Jibai will do. I don't think I'm gonna make it that far because again, right side tires non-existent. I can't believe how fast he is. Rarely do you see an AI this good. Jibai got a car tonight. If I push it any further, right rear is gonna explode. Maybe can we can make it like another lap or two because now I'm thinking when did I stop was it like lap 19 if it was like lap 19 then we're gonna be a couple laps short so this one extra lap it could help me but I'm terrified that I'm gonna blow out the tire this lap we're coming in losing time to Jibai losing time to Giggles up behind me it was one of them your tires are gone man one of, get here, get yeah they're gone I don't know where they went they were there they're not there anymore Giggles if I blow out a tire just, I'm letting you know that it could happen. Oh, he's pitting too. All right. All right. We're all in. 
Wow, we're all pinning together! No speed, no speed, no speed! She's trying to make me speed, you cheating slut! Alright, we're knocking out tire pressures. Knock out, like, a full round of wedge. And Giggles, don't ever go inside me again without consent. Oh, we're pinned right next to each other, Jim and I! Hopefully this shit works! How are we gonna shake out? With Bushy, with Darb, whoever the hell else was up there. They gonna get back by us? Jimmy down and away. We're down and away. Let's get back after it. Bushy. Hey, oh my hey, god! Hey, focus. We can do this. We lost a shit ton of ground to Bushy! Holy fuck, I had no idea that it was gonna be that bad! Well, they did have a bunch of laps extra on us with the tires. Are we going to be able to make this up? But now we have the advantage. We have the tire advantage. We're getting back by them pretty easily, I would say. And they're making more pit stops. All these guys, I think, are going to have to pit again. <laughs> Turns one and two, that's my bread and butter. Could have probably been loosened up more. Not much more, but a bit more. A bit more freeness, and we'd be challenging for the fastest lap. None of the leaders are pitting. I'm not gating any spots when I go by pit road and I see these guys on the pits. It could, it could still happen. I'm leaning towards that it will happen. A lot of these, and Jimba gonna take the lead back. Jimba's still fighting his way by, guys, but I'm inching closer. Ever so slightly. Little bits at a time. You're Keep not gonna slow Keep me down. Low. That, that 48 is getting bigger. Give me the side suck. Give me that side suck. Hey, 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 hey. Don't be upset because you're driving around. You can't blame me for your career decisions. Damn it. This son of a... Yeah, give it to me. This son of a bitch is slowing me down. Jump getting back away again. Clear, 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 clear. One and two is my best opportunity to make up time. Three and four... It's kind of even, doesn't feel okay, like a whole you. lot of ground is being made up down here. Is Bushy gonna pit? I'm running out of laps. If they're gonna pit, it's gonna have to be soon. Imagine how a caution would flip this race up on its ass. Oh, um, I don't know if you would pit. There's obviously some sort of a tire advantage. Get him, get him, get him, get him. One and two, I like it. Six, we can see Jimmy, second and a half ahead. If we can pass him, then at least we'll be in a position to take the win if everyone decides to peel off. And I'm making a friggin' peanuts on him. We need big chunks with the amount of laps that are left. That lap was four like a tenth, maybe? Will they or won't they? Three to go, four bushy. Plenty of people hitting pit road. Oh shit, someone is in a position though. Could be a lap car, seeing someone heading down pit road. Let's wait, let's find out who is that. It's Diggle Diggle. We're up in the top five now. Finally go. gained a spot because of someone making a pit stop. What about Bushy? What about the rest of the leaders? Bush, I can see it. He's pinning. Car Coming to the white hit. flag. Wait a minute, wait a minute. There's someone else following. It's Chef Boyardee. The top three all hit pit road! Really good right here. Coming to the one, they the can't left. make it! And Jemai, exactly what I said! I needed to get ahead of him! Unbelievable. Damn. Damn, damn, damn. And I knew it! I knew it! With the amount of people that were pitting, I saw it happening. Jimba finally gonna get his win at Kentucky. Jimba is finally gonna win in the 2015 season without me! Jimba back! Why am I so excited? I finished in second. Jimba and I, we ain't working together anymore. We split. It's still good to see him win. I'm happy. That sucks for Bushy. You know, this is a typical race. This is one of those Bushy races where he climbs out of the car and he just walks past the media and goes right to his hauler. Jimmy was the fastest all night, though, so he deserves that win. That was, I, you know, I, <laughs> I know that um, we're not, we're like, 
he's him and I'm me and we're not the same because I've been driving, I drove the 48 for all that time in the Utechnic saga. But I so badly wanted to see in this NASCAR 15 season, since I was branching off and forming Moves Motorsport, I wanted to see him competitive and I really, really want him to be in the final four so we could battle for a championship together. I just think that that would be the ultimate like send off. And I mean, if he keeps this pace up, it looks to be possible. So it would appear that the strategy of pitting on the second caution was the right call. Jeff Gordon Ramsey comes back in the top 20. Well, you know what? We're all, we're all, everything's taken care of now. So how did, he led more than, but Jubai, I didn't think that he led that many laps, but I guess Jubai did spend an awful lot of time just driving up through people. Jeff Boyardee, Dingle Dingle, Alligator, Pea Braid, Vicks Vapor Rub, a lot of people that were on that pit strategy uh, where they pitted the first caution and then um, and then never came back. Well, they, they came back, but they didn't come back on that second caution. That was just, that was not the way. Man's decided to just pull over mid-race and do some figure popping with Outback Steadhouse. You know, there was a point in time where the 98 and the 46 were like somewhere up in the top 15, slowing everybody down. How do you go from the top 15 to ending up three laps down in, in a race that was only 50 laps long? <laughs> <laughs> Very good, good win for Jimmy, his first on the year. That cuts into his points deficit to me. Now it's, what, what, uh, what it's it, 58, it's down to 80. Wow, he's really chipping into that. Bushy still hasn't talked to anybody. Here's everybody else where they're all sitting. Points, uh, apparently the points really don't matter. NASCAR 15 just does not give a shit. Keep on scrolling, see where your favorite driver Sits, kids, and three bats a little bit. He bumps up a little bit. And uh, Cyber Fever, wow, wow. Okay, Cyber Fever, he's getting closer to that top 30. Good for him. And Mikey Wallace is too. Uh, but he got a lot of points to make up, like a lot of points. Booby is the cut line right now. 368, Mikey Walnuts, 316, 52 points. That's a lot. And if you actually give a shit, here are these guys. Blanket 2 also puts a little bit of room on the cut line. All right, everybody, next week, New Hampshire. Two Typically, in the Eutechnics is New Hampshire is a really difficult track to get the handle on. Haven't ever driven there in NASCAR 15, so I have no idea what I'm getting into. I would anticipate at least a little bit of bullshit racing there. I can't wait. I, honest to God, I enjoy like when this game is challenging and it's hard to figure out the handle of it. I just like gotta do something to get up to the front. I, it is a lot of fun. I want a NASCAR game that challenges me, but that like there is a way for me to work the handling where I am still able to get up to the front. I want a challenge, but I want the ability to adjust on it. So then it's on me if I can't get that good, good run. I'm done. Thank you for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I love every single last one of you. And I will see you in the next one. Goodbye!